So, girl, this next one's messy. Transgender model wins local Miss America pageant for the first time ever. Let's play this video. Okay, so here's the thing. This person's a teenager. So I refuse to go that hard on this person. What I would rather talk about is this participation trophy thing that's happening here. Because, and again, I'm I'm trying to speak with as much kindness as I can because this person is a teenager. However, this is a beauty pageant, which means that the participant signed up to have their beauty judged. And I don't think there is anyone who looks at this person compared to the women on stage and thinks that they are in the same universe in terms of attractiveness. I am not trying to be mean. I just have to speak honestly here. So for me, I think the bigger issue is like, it is so clearly a sympathy win, which is insulting, by the way. I mean, I I don't I find that good. I mean, if, I don't want anything from sympathy. I don't want to win an award from sympathy. I want to win an award because I fucking earned it. And I don't think this person can walk away. I don't I don't think she can walk away feeling like she earned that. I mean, maybe she does, maybe she doesn't. But come on, <laughs> like it's just not. It was clearly like we're gonna do something progressive and lovely for this trans person. Which you know what? That is very progressive and that is very lovely. But that's also pretty fucking toxic if you actually think about it. If you're not a shallow person and you see what's actually happening, which is sympathy votes for someone, like then then it's actually really toxic. So people want me to be outraged about it. I see people making this a way bigger deal than it is. It's some local beauty pageant, okay? This isn't fucking whatever the fuck. But it still is telling that this is the kind of person. It's just, I don't like it. I don't like that the person's a teenager. I don't want to sound mean, but it's like, come on. This person shouldn't have won. And that's that's what I'll say about that, okay? That's what I'll say. Tennessee GOP leaders introduce bill to prevent gender-affirming gender health care. Can we talk about how they deceptively do these headlines? Because you would think... Right. First of all, the term gender affirming healthcare is an activist term. And the fact that they're using that as though that's the official language for transsexualism or transition is, is one thing. But it's doubly misleading because you see how it says they're introducing the bill to prevent gender affirming healthcare with like no distinction about for who. Yeah, it's for minors, not for adults. Right. But because the media loves to keep the LGBT community in a constant panic, a constant panic about people coming for their rights and coming for them and putting them in camps and blah, blah, blah. It's like the media loves to utilize the panic, the intensity, and the coordination and the community of LGBT people in their favor. So if they can get them freaked the fuck out, and I know how things are, right? Like people post this article on Facebook and most people don't read articles. They just see the headline and that's all. So you have all these probably like trans groups and LGBT groups and trans Reddit. All they see is a screenshot. Tennessee taking away transition rights. Yeah, for minors, for which they absolutely should and every state should. So just one day after the midterm election, legislation to prohibit gender affirming health care for children was introduced on Wednesday by two Tennessee majority leaders. The Republican legislators, William Lamberth, R. Portland, and Jack Johnson, R. Franklin, said the moves come after the video from Mar Mark Walsh, do they mean Matt Walsh, on the Vanderbilt University Medical Center Transgender Clinic. How'd they get his name wrong? These people, like, suck. They're, like, lying in the headline and they can't get people's names right? Like, what the fuck? Um... Quote, interfering or destroying the healthy, normal reproductive organs of a child for the purpose of altering their appearance is profoundly unethical and morally wrong. Done. Done. That's all you have to say. I, I very rarely see 
it summed up that beautifully. I try to sum it up like that in my videos because that really is like people get so caught up in like the moral arguments of it and and getting in the nitty gritty. It's like, no, you can't destroy a child's fertility to alter the way they look. And we can leave it at that. Because if I'm being fucking real, it's like, yes, my transition was in a lot of ways not just about the way that I look, right? But it was a big fucking part of it. A big part of it was cosmetic, right? And people don't talk about that enough. People talk about how it's life-saving and people don't get it, you know, delete themselves and blah, blah, blah. It's like, okay, that's definitely true for some people. But at the end of the day, these are surgeries that alter a child's appearance. And they're also destroying their fertility, fertility in the meantime. And I think that this is one of those things that you're either on board with that or you're not. And if you are, you're either crazy or stupid. Crazy because you know what they're doing and you support it or stupid because you're uninformed of what they're doing and you're just supporting something to come across as inclusive and accepting and tolerant and progressive, which is the reason why most people support it, right? Most people just don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. Most people just don't want to be transphobic. Like, I swear to God, like, a trans person could like stab someone in the face. And if they stab the right person in the face, that person won't even go to the cops because they'll be like this, this, I don't want to be transphobic. That's what people are getting to the point of. And it's like, this is again, another one of those things like, how does society sustain itself with these two types of people in it? People who think that children can consent to having their fertility destroyed, people who don't think so. There's no middle ground is the middle ground kind of destroying their fertility? Is the middle ground changing only a little bit of their appearance? There is no middle ground. It's either immoral or moral. And the same way that they think people who think it's wrong are monster, the people who think it's wrong think people who think it's right are monsters. I increasingly think people who support it are monsters because the more information that comes out, there is only more information, right? I've talked about this shit since years before it became a national conversation. And Back then, there wasn't even as much damning information as there is now. Like puberty blockers causing brain swelling, vision loss. Like that's a new one. That's like last month. And people are still like, it's fine. The fuck do you mean? And just like on a deeper like human level, there's something happening with people's obsession with medicalization. I don't know if like we're get, just getting to a point in human history where it's like we have everything we want. So now we're just like tweaking with things like I don't know what it is, but there's something wrong with people who think their child can consent to lifelong medicalization, being a customer, a big pharma for the rest of their entire lives. There's this insane push to fucking get a shot in your arm or you're a bad person. This segregation of society based on who's had a certain medical experiment. It's like. What is going on with people and drugs? And especially, I, I, I talk about this sometimes. It's like the left used to be anti-Big Pharma and this was not even that long ago. This was like 2010 when this was their standard position. And now you can't even have a conversation with the leftists without having puberty blockers or a vaccine pushed on you like they're fucking drug dealers. Why? I, I don't know. Smarter minds than me will have to figure out this weird period of human history where we're obsessed with medicalization. But it's like, freaking me out personally and this is someone this is coming from someone who chose to medicalize themselves but within that i knew has this hair been messed up the whole time girl which was alive y'all could have told me um this is coming from someone who chose to medicalize myself as an adult and i still within that was able to understand that i was an anomaly and that not everyone should do what I'm doing. You know what I mean? There's something to be said about doing something, but knowing that it's not for everyone and that society would crumble if everyone did what you did. So I don't know. I just, it's a weird fucking time, dude. I don't, let's move on. Hey, because... if you guys enjoyed that short clip from the podcast, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel as well as my main channel and watch the full episode, which will be somewhere on the screen.